Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back once again to another episode of Vanilla Minecraft, episode number 45, which is pretty crazy. And today we're out here in a kind of new and mysterious place because we're going to do something a little bit different. So I've mentioned in the past that I have a text document with all of my different ideas for building inside of it. And that document is like absurdly long at this point. It's 20 some pages. And a lot of that is like five lines dedicated to a project that would take me months. So it's, it's kind of a whopper. Now, one big section of that, like at least one page of that, is dedicated to a section that I've been calling mini builds. And those are essentially ideas that I could do within an episode or two, and they'd just be something that I would throw together out in the world, and it would be a cool thing for someone to stumble across. I kind of like the idea of doing that, and I have a lot of unique ideas for it, but today I want to tackle one of the, I don't want to say simpler ones, I, it's going to be one of the more kind of normal ones, one of the more run-of-the-mill ideas, at least kind of. So what we're actually going to be doing today is redoing this village. So this is a village out near spawn, it's actually a couple thousand blocks away I think, but I wanted to be out of the way. So, it's a relatively decent sized village, uh, it's not huge by any stretch of the imagination, but it's not tiny, you know, we have a few buildings to work with, and I basically want to come through and redo it and make it look more interesting. Now that is a relatively common project, I've seen plenty of people do that, and it's kind of a cool thing to do, but I want to do it in a slightly different way. What I actually want to do is redo the entire village and make it look like it's made of modern buildings. And I don't just mean like current era buildings, I mean I want to make them look like modern houses. The, the really interesting architecture style that I'm sure you've seen quite a lot of in Minecraft. It's actually a rather popular build style. I would like to do that with this village and make it look like it's, you know, the most latest and greatest hip village to be in, right? That is the general idea. Now, I want it to still feel at least sort of like a vanilla village, so... I'm going to try and match the layout to some extent, but I do need to change it quite a lot because obviously we have these really cramped pathways and stuff. I don't really like that. I think we need this to be a little bit wider, especially if we want to do something like maybe plant little trees along the sides. I think that could look pretty cool. But I think I need to do that, which of course means that a lot of these buildings need to get torn down just for that process. And then I want to make the buildings themselves at least somewhat reminiscent of the buildings that are here, as far as the scale goes. Uh, we may need to up the size a little bit on the smallest ones. Like, we've got these here that are, you know, 5x5, five five, or I think some of them are actually 4x5. Uh, like this one right here, for example. That's probably a little bit too small. Like, we could probably do something with it. I'll see what I can do. But that might be a little bit too small in order to actually convey the modern style in any decent way. I'll see if I can try and pull something off with it, but we may need to go a little bigger on those. In general though, I want them to at least sort of be the same scale as the houses that are here, relatively in the same position, though again we're going to have to kind of expand everything out a bit, and hopefully it turns out cool. I think it should look kind of neat to have kind of like a modern village. Obviously all the buildings will be kind of squished because they are going to be relatively small scale. It'll kind of feel like a caricature of a town, right? So I think that sounds pretty cool. Obviously we also have these farm plots we're going to have to do something with. I think we'll probably replace those with various things. Uh, maybe like a little recreational park or something or I don't know. We'll figure it out. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get to the first phase of this, which is probably going to be expanding out the road system a bit. Obviously, I'm going to have to tear down most of the village in order to do that, but it should be okay. I'll deal with all of the complications that come along with that. For example, we've got this path over here, and we're kind of enclosing all of our buildings here. So if I expand the pathway out, all the buildings would have to get moved in, and it would probably get a little bit messy. So I may have to tweak that a little bit, but I'll figure that out. Once I've got the pathways in place, and maybe once I throw a couple buildings in, I'll get back with you guys, we'll take a look at the style we have, maybe tweak some stuff, and we'll go from there.
So our village has changed quite a lot already. A bit more than I expected it to, honestly. I was not expecting to delete the entire previous village off the face of the earth immediately. I thought that was going to be a little bit more gradual, but keeping those buildings around would have just gotten in the way later on, so it wasn't really worth it. Now, we are still going to be mimicking the old layout of the village, so I do have screenshots of it, but... It was just going to be in the way. So I got rid of all of those. I replaced all the paths. Like, this is the original layout that the village had. I replaced all of them with stone slabs, which I think is kind of nice. I think that fits the area fairly well. I did try and make them gradually kind of slope. Rather than just having a step up every time there was an incline, I wanted them to kind of slope up and down like an actual pathway. And I think that feels okay. I think it could use a little bit more smoothing out. Like, right here feels like too harsh of a transition, I think. But overall, I like it. I think it's okay. I do think I'm going to end up having to redo it, though, because I think we are going to need to expand our pathway system out a few blocks in each direction. We'll talk about that more in a second, but that is the base of the pathway. Obviously, along the sides, we've got these little tree things going on, which I think they're okay. I think they suit the area fairly well as kind of like a, I guess like I described earlier, like a caricature of a modern town. I think they suit that relatively well. I've never been super big on the like the tree design, having like the fence post and the leaves coming off of it. But if you want something in between a sapling size and a full-blown tree, this is pretty much the best you can do, unfortunately. So I think that's okay. I was kind of contemplating replacing them with something like streetlights, but that might be a little bit too much for the area. It might make it a little bit too kind of overdone looking. So... We may experiment with it a little bit more, but for the time being, I think these are okay. And, of course, I also added in a couple of the buildings. So, this one here, which has a residence, apparently. Hi, buddy. Uh, this one here is a replacement for one of the smallest buildings. I think it was a 5x5 or a 4x5, something along those lines. It's really tricky to put detail into a building that, that's, that is that size. I mean... I think it's okay. Uh, obviously, some parts are a little plain looking, but considering it's meant to actually feel kind of like a villager village, I think it's okay for the buildings to be a little bit plain. But overall, I think it's okay. I think it does the trick. We'll try and have different designs for them, even if they are the same size, so I think it's going to be okay. And then, of course, this one over here is a bit bigger. This is actually replacing one of the largest bu buildings that was in the village, and I think it looks okay. It's it's a little iffy. I'm not completely sold on the design for it. I'm actually not too familiar with building modern houses. I think I've done the facade of a modern house one time. That is the entirety of my experience with them. So this is quite the learning experience for me. But I think it turned out okay, all things considered. It is a little bit bigger than the house that was here. And not by much, honestly. It's mostly the stuff sticking out. Like, we have a little bit more space out front. Like, the building that was here originally was right up against the pathway. So we have a lot of wasted space out here to make it look a little bit nicer. And there's some stuff around back we'll see in a second. But in general, you know, they're pretty basic. There's not a lot going on inside. Little modern bookshelfy type thing. You get the idea. Nothing too crazy. Uh, you go up here, you got some, like, lounge chairs and an uh, umbrella thing, which will be impossible to make in 1.13 unless they change it. I really hope they do. But, yeah, that is our big house. And then around back, we've got, like, this little, you know, back porch thing and a little grill situation. You, you know, little detail stuff that doesn't really add anything. Unfortunately, adding that extra stuff to the building to give it a little bit more character and a little bit more interest, it does make it a bit bigger. So... This one structure kind of fills up this entire block, if that's what you want to call it, and we don't actually have room to put anything back here as far as an actual structure goes. So for that reason, I might expand the pathways out like five or so blocks in each direction. That'll probably give us enough space to mimic the original design, but still sneak in some extra details in between. And I think that's probably going to be the best way to go. So I'm going to try and do all of that. I'm going to try and expand the pathways out a bit. And then I'm going to try and add in... Ooh, hungry. And then I'm going to try and add in probably the rest of the house buildings. Uh, we do have some other random detail things that I'm probably going to put in between them, but the houses themselves I would like to really get knocked out next, like all of them, hopefully. So we'll see how that goes. I'm a little bit on the fence about whether I want to make them feel different because we've got this particular style, right? We've got the white concrete is like a really prominent thing. 
And then the inset parts are usually like dark oak wood. Uh, this house doesn't actually end up having any of that, but it does have this, uh, I think it's gray concrete border thing going on as like a detail. I think that I probably want to stick to that block palette because we have a lot of options, obviously. We could change it up. We could make things that are more colorful. We could make buildings that utilize sandstone or some other random block. But I think if we do that, it would start feeling really kind of disjointed and a little more chaotic rather than a cohesive village like the default villages do. So I think I'm going to stick to this general style as far as like the block palette goes. And I'll just change the shapes around and hopefully come up with something unique looking for each one. Some of them might get a little bit similar looking, especially the really small ones, but we'll see how it goes. So I'm going to go ahead and get to that. I'm going to expand the pathways out and then I'm going to start building all of the other houses that we need. And we'll see what this place looks like once it starts feeling like an actual village. So our village has come quite a long ways in a relatively short amount of time. I think that looks pretty cool. Uh, not so much from above. From above the roofs look kind of strange, but when you're down on the ground, I think that for what the project is, if you don't look at it as if it's you know supposed to be an amazing looking city and you instead look at it like a villager village, I think it turned out okay. I think it's kind of cute. <laughs> so I like it. Obviously it's not the most technically impressive thing ever created, but it, it feels quaint. I, I kind of like that vibe that it has. So I added in a bunch more houses, obviously. We don't really need to look at them all individually. There's not a whole lot going on in them. You know, just some basic stuff inside. Pardon me. But I like them. I think they feel okay. I think the bigger ones are a little bit strange. They're kind of like in the uncanny valley of buildings, right? where they're not so small that they feel, you know, kind of like a caricature of a building, but they're not big enough to really have the detail that they probably should. So they're in this kind of weird in-between state. But even so, I think for what this village is actually meant to be, I think they feel okay, right? Hopefully. <laughs> you guys will have to let me know. So... I think overall the buildings turned out okay. I did also add in a few random other things, like a fountain, for example. This is in place of the well, which was right in this area here. So that's the replacement for that. There's also... Uh, I added in this little restaurant building. This is technically... I mean, this is a bit bigger than the farmland plots that it's replacing, obviously. But I think this adds a little bit more character to the entire place. Uh, a little, like caricature of a public pool as well as a tennis court you know a little cartoony version of it uh, just little stuff like that to fill in the areas where we had the farm plots and there wasn't an actual building and this is meant to be like a modern art piece I guess I couldn't really think of what to put here but I think that does the trick 
So stuff like that, just kind of filling in the gaps. Obviously, we still have other gaps around because I was still using the base kind of layout that the village had. But overall, I think it turned out okay. And it was actually quite the good learning process for me. Uh, like I said earlier, I haven't really built in modern before. And while this isn't a great way of practicing that because, you know, I was dealing with really limited scales and whatnot and limited amounts of detail... Overall, I think it was kind of helpful. I also learned a couple interesting tricks, uh, a couple things that I came up with in order to make these little trees look more interesting. Because we have these all the way down the road, right? And as I said earlier, I always felt like this style of tree feel, uh, felt a little bit bland, right? It didn't feel all that interesting. But I came up with a way of making it a little bit better. And this right here, you see we have like little roots coming out of the tree. That is actually two armor stands crisscrossing. You just basically drop them into the ground and push the tree down on top of it. So that is actually a really cool trick. Uh, relatively simple to do, a little bit cumbersome. Like I wouldn't want to do it on all of the trees going down the road, I don't think. And that would also add in hundreds of extra entities to the world. But if you just have a few of these, I think that's a kind of a cool little trick to do. There's also this, which is far more cumbersome, but basically I wanted to try and get the armor stand inside of the leaf blocks in order to make it look like there's branches inside, and I kind of like that. It's one of those details that most people would never notice. They would just walk right past it and never think twice about it, and it is really cumbersome because the only way you can do this, as far as I can think of, because you can't push the leaves into place... The only way you can do this, as far as I can think of, is actually growing a natural tree and having the leaves naturally spawn in this spot and then getting rid of the rest of the leaves and preserving just this one leaf. The issue with that is that you need a log block, so you see the log block behind it. If we didn't have a log block connected to this somehow, the leaf would despawn. It would decay eventually. So that's a bit of a bummer. It does really limit how you can actually utilize this, but... It is kind of cool. I do like that that turned out the way it did. And in this case, I can just kind of cover up the logs with paintings and it works fairly well. So for this particular situation, I think that's a really, really cool detail. Hopefully I find an excuse to use that sometime again in the future. Anyway, I think that's going to do it for our little village project. I think that was <laughs> kind of an interesting little detour from our norm. Obviously, it's not like the most impressive project in the world, but... I like it. I think it was kind of fun, and I really want to do more of this stuff in the future. Uh, like I said earlier on, I do have a lot of ideas for things that we could probably crank out in an episode or two, like we did with this, and just kind of have all of this cool stuff out in the world. I really like the idea of doing that. So hopefully that's something we do more of. I want to do some more kind of esoteric projects, uh, things that are a little more like weird when you bump into them rather than stuff like this, but... I think this feels okay. <laughs> maybe someday we'll even revisit this project and tweak it. Maybe make it even look better. But, you know, I think for a basic villager village with a modern twist, I think it turned out okay. At least in my opinion. You guys will have to let me know, like I said earlier. Should probably get out of here before these guys get eaten. Given that it is going on nighttime and I did not light this place up particularly well. And most of their houses have big gaps in them for aesthetics. <laughs> But, yeah, I think that's going to do it for me for today. Uh, once again, as I have said in every video I've done for a while now, because they've been very far apart, apologies for the huge gaps in between <laughs> episodes recently. Uh, it's still been quite a struggle to record things and design things. Even houses, like even the structures that we did here today, as basic as they are, for some reason it was such a struggle for me to... Kind of figure all of them out. I have no idea why, but hopefully that's not something that keeps happening. Where is that guy going? Hmm. Anyway, hopefully that's something that doesn't keep happening and I can kind of get back on track. We'll see how things go. Thank you all for being patient with me. Most of you have been pretty good about that. So, yeah. That's all that we're going to do today. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully I see you again fairly soon. <laughs> And I'll see you guys next time.